Escape artists risk their lives every time they perform a stunt. Even the great Houdini couldn't cheat death forever. But now, a daring new breed of escape artist is attempting stunts so dangerous that few could survive them. I just want to prove that uh, I'm the number one escape artist in the world, bar none. On the 66th anniversary of Houdini's death, escape artist Bill Shirk prepares to be buried alive under seven tons of wet mud and concrete, while handcuffed and chained in a plexiglass coffin. I had an eerie feeling within my heart that this is one maybe I wasn't going to be bringing Bill out alive in. But as the concrete is being poured over the coffin, something goes wrong. I just didn't like anything about this stunt from the time we started. The plastic coffin collapses, pinning Bill under tons of mud and concrete. Two years earlier, on the anniversary of Houdini's death, escape artist Joe Burris attempted the same stunt. But it ended tragically when his coffin also collapsed suffocating him in front of a large crowd of onlookers. Now, Bill Shirk is trapped, gasping for air, as each precious moment draws his life closer to an end. The weight of the wet earth and concrete is too much for the plexiglass coffin to bear. And now all of a sudden it started creaking and creaking and cracking and cracking and boom. The coffin shatters, and Bill is stuck beneath it. He tries to escape. I really felt that things were going wrong with our radio communications between Bill and I had actually broke. Suffocating under the crushing weight, there is no way out. I could not. I could not break through. As precious seconds tick away, a backhoe is brought in to dig Bill out of his cement grave. Personally, I thought I was going to have to dig it up a corpse. Fearing the worst, Bill's stunt coordinator jumps into the pit, digging frantically searching for any sign of life. Bill's hand emerges, but seems lifeless. It is feared that he is dying. Crew members pull Bill from his concrete tomb and struggle to revive him. Well, I was actually underground with a collapse for over 22 minutes where basically everybody in the world thought I was dead. Miraculously, Bill survives his agonizing ordeal. Just the sheer weight of six tons of dirt and concrete coming crashing down on the inside that coffin that he had. It's just amazing that he's even lived through that. And if Houdini was up on top looking down, he would have said that's the greatest escape stunt ever done in the history of escape. I spared my life on this one, and uh, it's been a while before I'll do one of these. I'll tell you that. Because next time, Bill Shirk may not be so lucky.